What is up everyone? My name is Ethan Benfold and I'm gonna be showing you guys the part two of the jamper video. Uh part one looks like it's doing pretty well. I'm gonna show you everything else I've done to the jamper since then. Okay, here's the first thing I did directly after the part one. I just started working on the table, painting, bondoing, sanding, making it just about perfect. Just about goddamn perfect, Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, look at that nice little paint. Little happy little white blank. Oh yeah. Um, and then I, I sanded, primed, and then painted this uh, table, sanded the crap out of it, made it really smooth. And I painted the entire jamper um, again because it wasn't the right color, the right uh, tone of red I wanted. And then I stained the underside of the table so when you flipped it down you had a nice uh, stained surface to work with for like eating food out when you're camping or whatever, putting a drink on. Just gave it a little nicer uh, feel. I don't really want to paint it and have a sticky, sur you know, like a like just a painted surface to work with. I just wanted something a little nicer. This is a plate design I made. It holds the table up instead of that magnet idea before. I didn't like that very much, so I replaced it with this nut welded onto the plate, and then I would screw a bolt in there, and then I cut the head of the bolt off and. Uh, found out where it was on the table, drilled a hole for it, like so, and then I, you know, fits right there, it's nice and snug, and then I made it, welded this little cross member there, so it twists on and off, so you can just put it up there and twist it instead of having a magnet, I felt it was a lot sturdier in the long run, the magnet kind of fell off, and then I drilled a hole through the entire assembly, um, so you just untwist it hook it in there and the cable would hold the whole table up. So this was a little gap there and where the jamper meets the, the Jeep and it had a hole as you can see in the red circle so I filled it with a little block and then put Bondo all in it so I could eventually fill the gap. I also bondoed the entire face that you see me standing here because I needed it to be really um, flat for the weather stripping that I was going to have to put on it to seal the space between the Jeep and the jamper. And then I'm sanding that block out with my square block so it could look kind of professional and factory. Fit right in there and then I painted it up, you know, blended it nice. It's my first attempt at using a tarp to cover the jamper. It was a little too small, failed, obviously. Look at the mirror finish on that table. Next weekend, it's Sunday today, next weekend I'm going camping and I'm going to try this thing out. So I'm trying to get it kind of ready for that. So I cleaned the dust out of the jamper and then I painted another black coat over all the overspray that I've accumulated over the times I've painted this thing. It's kind of getting heavier and heavier <laughs> every time. Here's that weather shipping I was talking about. It's gonna make a nice seal. It, it stayed on for the most part. I'm glad I sanded it because it stayed on for the most part. It came off a little bit. Here's a dome light that I bought like for like 15 bucks at Walmart. Just Runs off like four double A's and clicks on and off. Then I've rubberized undercoated the, the little hitch structure that holds the Jeep up, the jamper up from underneath. This is the second attempt at doing a tarp. It was also a little too small. I didn't like it very much. I think it failed as well. Then I was going to cut out a stencil that said jamper on it so I could spray paint jamper on this either side of the jamper. Jamper, jamper, jamper. Yeah, my fingers got super sore during this process. And I think the stencil look really gave it like that old time Willy's military Jeep feel, you know? Cause they used to just stencil all the numbers on the Jeeps and stuff. So it looks kind of shitty, but I kind of like it that way, you know? kind of how it's supposed to be. Here's me welding up the little brackets you're gonna get to see more of in a second. This is just me welding them up. So we're out here at the dunes. Jeep looks nice. Okay, pause for a second. Um, I did a bad job of transitioning from making these corner brackets to actually being camping. So I'll go over these corner brackets a little bit more. 
These corner brackets are actually pretty cool. They 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 have this little groove so the tie down can fit right in it, and they go in this corner. And there's a little piece of metal right there blocking it, so it butts against the sides. So it keeps um, the jamper really snug from this corner. Instead of strapping it down from the top and the side, you can just strap it down from the corner and it doesn't move when you're going over bumps and stuff. But also I built these little brackets down here that hold the tie in place, and I'll show you that in a second. So these are those hooks I was talking about right here. There's, it's just a piece of angle iron that I cut a hole in for the, the mount that the seatbelt used to be in. So the tie down just fits right in there. Same with this side. Tie down just fits right in there. So that's what it's tied down to. Pretty low profile. You don't hit it when you're sleeping, when you're rolling over, you don't jam your side into it or anything, so. And this kind of gives you a good idea of how well the mattress itself, by itself, there's two mattresses here, this thin one and the memory foam one. How well they all roll up inside the jamper like that. I just pulled up to camp, open up the back tailgate, put this up, unlatch it. We got a latch back. There's a latch back here that's all latched up. Gotta unlatch that, give it some slack. And you pull this out, pull out your brackets that go in the corners, put your tie off. Tie, tie down, and then get your trusty hitch holder thing that goes in the hitch ready. And then you're just gonna pull out the jamper. Quite heavy. Do you not know need this? Goes in here, right snug. Get this, put that there. Let's back up. Right, snug. Okay, now put the thing, the hitch thing in. And get in that here. Okay, there we go. Ta -da. So there's. It's really open on this side. Okay, yeah, I need some more. Yeah, there. there you go. That's the outside. Now let me take you into the inside. So last night when we slept in the jamper, it's the first night we had it faced, so our heads were downhill, which prior to that we were thinking, oh, that's a good idea because then the tarp will be facing, so what? the rain won't go under the tarp and come back underneath oh. the jamper, and so we're like, okay, we'll just face it, so our heads are downhill, but. We could not sleep because the blood kept flowing to our heads and we woke up with horrible, horrible headaches. So now we Pretty. changed the direction and our heads are gonna be uphill and stuff and we're just gonna have to deal with any water get, that gets under the tarp. So here is the setup. You need it too. Don't just make it all messy, just put it in the middle. Okay. Oh, it's nice and warm actually. Let me this. Those back where they were. Tarp is up, it looks super homeless, but it's okay. Bungee cords. The next morning. Ridiculously sturdy. Throw this aside. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, there's definitely something wrong with you. But um, that's fine. That's fine. That's not my. That's not not my problem. I might be doing more stuff between now and the trip I go on to the beginning of summer. And I guess I'll just film whatever I change, and then I'll just put it in like other videos, like vlogs, do little updates and stuff. So click the notification bell, subscribe, like, comment. Bye.